Hey everyone, welcome back to the Automotive Flux channel. So today is a special day because last week I made this 8100 horsepower engine, uh, which yes, as you can see here, it does indeed make over 8000 horsepower. I'm going to go for 10,000 today because people in the comments said it was possible. I'm going to try my best, see if we can do it, and then, I don't know, put it in something and see what 10,000 horsepower looks like. You'll have to stick around to the end to see if I actually make it. But let's get started. So first thing I've done is just cloned our previous engine. We're going to work off of that basis uh, because I don't want to have to start all the way at the beginning. However, I will tell you how things go. So what we have here is a 22 liter, it's 21.715 liter, 90 degree V16, all magnesium uh, and all top quality materials. Uh, everything is basically as high as it can go. Uh, it is quad turbo because of course it is. So this engine has some issues. I just turned up the power limit quite a bit there, but uh, we, we can get an instant 50 horsepower just by turning this up. But then we also get turbine temperature uh, issues too. So I don't know, <laughs> there's, there's definitely some problems with this that need to be sorted out. The ultimate point being that when I made this last week, it wasn't perfect. So I'm just gonna turn things up until we can get more power out of it because again, somehow we have to hit that uh, 10,000. <laughs> if it's gonna be possible, I'm not sure, but I'm not gonna worry about stress at all. Even if it gets to the point where it's like gonna just explode, I'm really not worried about it. A little bit of tweaking and I've managed to get up to 8,341 horsepower. That's just with touching the RPM limit here a little bit and also messing with the fuel mixture because turning this up seems to fix some of our issues. That's basically 8400 horsepower there. So the temperature of the turbine has exceeded safe limits. I don't really care. I know that that's an issue in the long term, but again, we're just going for that peak power, the most power that we can possibly make. And obviously things have to be as new as they can be. <laughs> I haven't watched any videos on how to do this, by the way. I'm, I'm literally just doing whatever I can do. That's knocking it down to 6,000 right there, so that's... <laughs> yeah, we can't have that. So most of the improvements I've been able to make so far have been just incremental. I'm up to 8,421, so again, we're higher than we were, but everything so far is just, just minuscule. <laughs> As you can see, turning some things make it so that we get a little bit more power, but it's not the big jumps that I'm hoping for. Like some stuff uh, does make a big difference, like changing VVT, for example. We take that off, we actually gain power, which is weird, but I mean, I guess that makes sense. One thing to consider is I am running uh, this with, let's go back one, dual overhead cams and five valves per cylinder. I might have to change that up to get peak power. Okay, a little bit of tweaking of the turbo and we're up to 8,900. <laughs> Getting close, boys. Uh, yeah, this is... <laughs> I'm ignoring all the suggestions because things are broken beyond belief here and there's probably no way to make this work properly. <laughs> is it actually going to work in beam? Probably not, but you'll. <laughs> would you look at that? That's 8,929 horsepower just by tweaking things slowly. So... Here we go. Soon, it'll be over 9,000. There you go, that's 9,066. Oh, that's close. Okay, <laughs> another 934 horsepower to go. I think I can do that. So the game is a little bit strange sometimes because, like, look at that, 9,139, or 31. And then one tick up puts us down to 7,000. And then one tick down makes us lose 30 horsepower. <laughs> it's very, very finicky. I'm finding that with everything to do with the turbo, actually. Uh, so I've kind of reset it, and that's how I managed to get as much power as I have. The power, I think, for this type of engine is almost entirely determined by the turbo, from what I'm seeing here, because that's the only way to get these big jumps. Apologies for not showing more of the process, but basically what's happening is I'm just kind of like tweaking stuff until it does something. And as you can see, I'm up to 9,247 horsepower. If I don't hit anywhere near 10,000 by the end of this, I'm going to be extremely disappointed in myself. And I might not post the video, <laughs> so we better get somewhere with this. By the way, I can fix some of the issues with the car just by turning down this 
uh, RPM limit. So it's up pretty high and I know it's causing issues here, but that'll change when the time comes. I'm just leaving it up so that there's room to grow with this graph. So I've gotten to the point with the build where the pistons are not able to take the torque, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, and it means that when I turn up the power, the boost limit specifically, we just don't gain anything. <laughs> so I'm not sure how I'm going to solve this one. Okay, never mind. I put the fuel mixture all the way up and now we're making 9457. Turns out that was a good move. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it there. Never mind, that's 95. <laughs> Only 480 horsepower left. Come on now. Oh my goodness, 98.9? <laughs> Holy! Okay, this is turning out much, much better than I thought it would. Stress is a huge problem. And again, we'll just get rid of everything that is warning me that this is a bad idea because look at that power figure. 9,898.7 horsepower at 7,000 RPM. I highly doubt anything is gonna get there before it grenades. <laughs> this is way too good. I did it, I've done it. 10,030 horsepower, I did it! Yes! <laughs> 10,030 horsepower, 10,060 torque. Oh, oh my goodness, it's a dragster. I cannot believe my eyes. 10,030 horsepower. <laughs> yes, it's actually possible. Thank you to the people in the comments who uh, suggested that we attempt this because <laughs> turns out it is very, very possible. Um, we're only at 7,100 RPM. I'm going to try and make the engine more stable now because I believe that that is probably good enough in terms of power. <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to turn it right to there so we don't have as much problem with the uh, RPM limit stuff. But torque is always going to be a problem. As you can see, the high stress on the pistons is causing things to not be very happy on the inside. However, this thing now has 10,000 horsepower and uh, <laughs> I'm way too happy about it. What should we put it in? 10,000 horsepower. Okay, quickly, if you want to copy my build, I'm just going to run through it real fast here, so just pause at every point if you want to see it. But uh, basically, we're running with some pretty darn crazy numbers here, and I think it's time that I very hastily put together a vehicle that is worthy of this thing's challenge. Now, I think the scary part is that it's basically... Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know anything that's going to be able to control this. Like, what kind of car is going to be able to take this much power. So I'm searching for a body that will fit this engine into it, and I'm struggling. Not many bodies were made for such thickness. Dang man, why can't I have a drag Mustang with 10,000 horsepower? Ah, game. <laughs> this sucks. Oh my goodness, I finally found a car that it'll fit in, and it's basically a rocket ship. <laughs> okay, well, let's just do some real quick stuff for this. Just slap something together. Uh, I'll come back to paint in a bit. I just want to see the engine in there. Absolute gigantic. Let's go ahead and make it so that this thing will actually possibly maybe move. Uh, I'm going to make it longer, I guess. There's not much else I can do. Yeah, this is just going to be a prototype car, so I'm not going to do any design for it. I'm just going to try and make it look reasonable. Uh, but there, yeah, there's basically nothing that we can do here. This is as it is. Oh, that is fancy though. Okay, we're, we're going to go for the, uh, the front lip, at least to a minor extent. So it's anticipating that it can do up to 613 kilometers an hour, which is very, very quick. However, the top speed meter is not going high enough. Seems to be a common thread with my engines. Man, I wish we could get slick tires. I know that that's been an ask for a long time in this game, but you know, we always want that. What kind of crazy exhaust would you need to exhaust 10,000 horsepower? Like, I'm thinking rocket stuff, but what else? That is one absolute heck of an engine in there. Boy, oh boy, is it huge. <laughs> and the intercooler actually fits in perfectly too, so we have a perfect cutout here, lads. 
Okay, that's enough actual like design stuff. Let's just get into the more important things because I want this to work in BeamNG. So I'm going to export it without any random wheel modifications and then I'm going to export it with and we'll see what difference it makes. The car has severe issues with wheel spin. No, duh. <laughs> 10,000 horsepower. I've made it all wheel drive because I want it to like actually be semi possibly drivable, but you know. It's probably not gonna work. Okay, basically all that I've done is just try to make it so it's actually gonna function. Uh, turbine limits and all that stuff, it's probably gonna blow up immediately, but at this point I don't really care. I just want to hear the 10,000 horses. Okay, apparently brake fade is a bit of an issue when you're going 500 kilometers an hour. Who would have thought? This is frustrating, but basically we're stuck at 535 horsepower, or 535 kilometers an hour when we could potentially be going up to 700. The slider will not allow. Okay, so this is our first prototype version. It is uh, 2,052 kilos, probably most of that is the engine. Everything else is carbon fiber, the thing rips extremely hard, I would assume. But it's going to be an interesting one, because it doesn't have as much grip as I would have liked. However, quad turbos, 10,000 horsepower, let me make this in BeamNG. Oh yeah, what I've been doing is forcing unbreakable fixtures in this game as well. So I'm hoping that that helps these exports at least a little bit. Okay, this is the second prototype here. Basically, it's just the same thing, but the wheels are much, much wider. I want to see if this thing will have any more grip in BeamNG. Hey everyone, so this is BeamNG. I haven't loaded in the car yet because I'm a little afraid, to be honest with you, but I do have that graph that I had last week showing the power and torque in PS and Newton meters on the... Uh, bottom left hand corner there so we can actually see hopefully if we're making as much power as advertised now The best thing that we can do is uh, just spawn it in and see what happens But I want you to be here for that journey. So let's all do it together. Here we go Proto one is our first target. Let's just go here Replace current and cross our fingers. Please 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 do not explode upon impact Come on now. <laughs> this is the one I'm hoping that actually Oh, oh my goodness, it runs, <laughs> that's a good start. Does it go into drive? There's something going wrong with it in drive. It is making ridiculous power though. Let's just go for a little bit of a spin. Oh, it hesitates so much. The turbocharger is overheating, the piston rings are damaged. Oh my goodness, and the engine just busted. Well, that's what happens when you force 10,000 horsepower, I guess. The car doesn't drive. <laughs> At least not very far before things get chaotic. Uh, yeah, that was not very <laughs> long. Let's see if it can make it through a drag pass. So if you watch it in the corner there, it's having problems with engine heat. Uh, no doubt the turbocharger heat is a little bit too significant for it to take. I'm going to stick it out in S1. Uh, but if I have rev the engine in this car, it is going to grenade. So let's just see what happens with a nice clean drag pass. This is not going to be timed, but I'm going to try a timed one after. And then maybe we can try a timed one with, uh, with the other car. By the way, the brakes are completely down right now. It is still moving. It has too much torque. It's blowing through the brakes. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Oh my goodness, the gears can't handle it, and neither can the engine, because that was that. <laughs> you know, it's probably too fast for its own good. Turns out the only way to drive this car is to not really give it much. Uh, you just have to go very, very slowly, and the engine will not give <laughs> itself over to the internal death, at least not mostly. The turbocharger overheating is not something I can fix except by just changing it so that it doesn't uh, do that and thereby lessening the power significantly. Look at that, piston rings are damaged and we're putting out white smoke, actually blue smoke now because of oil. Turns out the Proto 2 isn't even necessary because Proto 1 can't drive for more than 5 minutes. Actually it can't even make it more than 1 minute, let's be real. 
But when you get on that power, it absolutely rips. This thing is not slow in the slightest. <laughs> 400 kilometers an hour, and then you just gotta back off ever so slightly before it grenades. <laughs> Alright, let's try the big wheel version and see what that does. After a quick drag pass first, though. Right, so I've chosen to just race myself here because I figure that's the most fair fight. There is nothing else in my library that has this much power, this much potential energy is just hidden away. And give me that tree, we're gonna end up grenading the engine before it even happens. Oh, I have to go back. Come on, the game. <laughs> nah, I just suck. Here we go, here we go, and off. Oh, the engine grenaded too soon, no! And look at the AI's actually gonna beat me. What kind of time are they gonna get with that? Oh, man. <laughs> I just want to see like a 6.8 or something like that. 8.2, yikes! So you do have to go real slow to be able to get this thing right. That's rough. And just to try it, because, I mean, I made it, so we may as well give it a go. I'm gonna go into uh, complete sport mode here with the wide-tired version, and I just want to see how hard it can rip with a little bit of extra meat on the wheels. <laughs> By a little bit, I mean a lot. So, let's go. I mean, it's still wheel-spinning like mad, um, but is it a little less? <laughs> I'm not sure. Ultimately, this version is completely pointless, but we know now that 10,000 horsepower? Completely unstable and basically unusable. However, <laughs> I had a lot of fun making this, and I hope that you enjoyed it as well. Let me know what you think of this big boy engine in the comments. I saw that, uh, I just looked it up when the game was loading, I'm like, man, who else has beaten me in this regard? Because obviously this is not a record, but looks like Twin Turbros has gotten over a... 11,000 before, so uh, maybe I'll have to go for 11k next. Automation world record, yes please. But until then guys, hopefully you enjoyed this, I'll see you again soon, and yeah, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this video, and I'll be sure to make more just like it, that's sort of what I've been doing, hopefully some more midweek stuff to come too, but to this week I, did, I just wanted to focus on uh, trying to cap 10,000 horses, so yeah. <laughs> anyway boys, see you again next time, after we rocket off of this little cliff. Turn off the engine because it's going to die anyways and crash and actually not take that as much damage as I thought we would. Until next time. So last week I kind of messed this up because I had no internet and uh, I didn't get a chance to refresh the subscriber list before reading it out, but I'm just going to do it double today for you. Not not actually, but thank you to Overlord, QT Bear, Terry01, GA Pope, Davis Heister, The German Dude, Nat64, Synlab, Goofy Plays, Badger, Phoenix Shark, and Baja Blast for your support. I appreciate all of you a lot. If you want to join this list, the join button is there. You'll be featured in all of my main videos and also... Uh, at the top of my channel too. <laughs> the, ch the channel page shows channel members. So yeah, thanks guys. See you again soon.